we have an announcement for you as a part of pre parikshan series of 2023 we are going to conduct the first test of gs paper 1 on 28th and 29th january 2023 you can take this test offline or online you need to register for the test on elearn.rauis.com pre parikshan test will help you assess real upsc competition Assess your level of preparation and how much more work is required. Become familiar with the actual UPSC exam pattern and developing examination related skills. Live analysis of the test will be conducted on 30th January. The details of the test are in the description box. Don't miss test and give your preparation a decisive edge through the pre-parishion test. See you on the test day. Hello and welcome to daily prelims practice. Here we will take up MCQs based on important news and articles that are featured in the Hindu and Indian Express newspaper. Topics for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. So the first question of today's discussion is inspired from this article which featured on page number 6 of the Hindu newspaper. And as the title suggests, article discusses the lack of autonomy at the panchayat level. Now, Panchayati Raj institution and information related to it have been a dominant theme of UPSC preliminary examination. As in 2015, it has asked a question about the objective of the Panchayati Raj system. Now, let us take today's practice question. Question says, consider the following statements with reference to Panchayati Raj institution that is PRIs. You have to identify the correct statements. Now, statement 1 says the Panchayat reconstituted after the premature dissolution of Panchayat enjoys a full period of 5 years. Now, this statement is incorrect. Now, as you know, Panchayati Raj is the system of rural local self-government constitutionalized through the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act of 1992. The act provides for a five-year term of office to the panchayat at every level. However, it can be dissolved before the completion of its term. Panchayat reconstituted after the premature dissolution does not enjoy the full period of five years but remains in office only for the remainder period. Now, statement 2 says the conduct of all election to the panchayat shall be vested in the state election commission. Now, this statement is correct. As the superintendent's direction and control of the preparation of electoral rolls and the conduct of all elections to the panchayats shall be vested in the State Election Commission as provided by the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act. Now, third statement says the Chief Minister of a State shall constitute a finance commission to review the financial position of panchayats after every five years. Now, this statement is again incorrect as it is not the chief minister but the governor who shall after every five years constitute a finance commission to review the financial position of the panchayat. So, as you had to find the correct statements, our answer would be B that is 2 only. Answer for this previous year question is C that is 1 and 3 only. Next question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 7 of the Hindu newspaper. News highlights how the shifting of the river Ganga has caused the erosion of its banks and is resulted into rendering thousands of people homeless in the state of West Bengal. Now several questions related to river Ganga and its tributaries has already been covered in previous DPP sessions and the question based on rivers have frequently featured in UPSC preliminary examination as in 2016 it has asked a question based on tributaries of river Brahmaputra. Now let us take today's practice question. You have to consider following pairs and identify which of them are correctly matched. You have to identify the correct answer from these quotes. The first is River Son. Now, Son River rises in the Amarkantak Plateau. Its source is close to the origin of the River Narmada. It passes along the Kamur Range and it joins the Ganga near Danapur in Patna district of Bihar. So, this pair is not correct. While Banas is a tributary of the Chambal and it originates in the southern part of the Aravli Range. It joins the Chambal on Rajasthan Madhya Pradesh border near Savai Madhopur. So this pair is correctly matched. 
Now, River Kane rises from the Barne range of Madhya Pradesh and joins the Yamuna River near Chilad in district Banda of Uttar Pradesh. So, this pair is again incorrectly matched. So, as you had to find the correct pairs, our answer would be B, that is 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is D, that is 1, 2 and 3. Inspiration for our next question comes from this news which featured on the Hindu newspaper page number 8. News is about the planned visit of Egyptian President Abdel Fateh al-Sisi and the expectation of defense dialogue and various defense pacts that are being associated with this visit. Now, UPSC has been asking questions based on important places which are in news as in 2015. It has asked a question about the bordering countries of the Mediterranean Sea. So, on the similar line, we have framed a question which is related to the Egypt. Question says, which one of the following countries of Northeast Africa does not open out to the Red Sea? Options are Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia and Saudi Arabia. Now, as you can see in this map that Red Sea is a narrow strip of water extending southeastward from Suez in Egypt for about 1200 miles to the Bab el Mandevi Strait, which lies here which connects with the Gulf of Aden and hence with the Arabian Sea. Geologically, the Gulf of Suez and Gulf of Aqaba are also considered as, as the northern extension of the same structure. The sea separates Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea to the west from those of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, to the east. So as you have seen that Ethiopia is not a country that opens out to the Red Sea, our answer would be C. Answer for this previous year question is B, that is Jordan. Our next question is based on this advertisement which featured on page number 7 of the Indian Express newspaper. As a part of the Republic Day celebration of 2023 and to mark the 126th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose which is celebrated as Parakram Divas, a military tattoo and tribal dance festival that is Adi Shaurya Parv Parakram Ka will be held at New Delhi on January 23 and 24. Now various martial dance forms from India are going to be exhibited in this function. Various art form associated with Indian culture is a prominent theme from UPSC preliminary examination perspective. As you can see here in 2014, UPSC has asked a question based on Kalari Payattu. So let us take up today's practice MCQ. Here following martial art forms are listed and you have to identify the correct pair with relation to the state with which these forms belong. First is Thangta. Now Thangta created by Mete people of Manipur. Thangta is an armed martial art that finds its mention in the most lethal combat forms. So this pair is incorrect. Now second is Gatka. Gatka is a weapon based martial art form performed by the Sikhs of Punjab. The name Gatka refers to the one whose freedom belongs to grace. So this pair is also incorrectly matched. Third is Khukri. Now in Gurkha culture, Khukri is a small knife which symbolizes victory, robustness and power. It is used as a prop in the dance which is also performed as a tribute to soldiers in the state of Sikkim. So this pair is correctly matched. Now the last option is Parikhanda. Now Parikhanda created by Rajputs is a form of martial art from the state of Bihar. It involves fighting using sword and shield. Still practiced in many parts of Bihar, its steps and techniques are widely used in Chow dance. So this pair is again incorrectly matched. So as you had to find the incorrectly matched pairs, our answer would be C that is only three pairs are incorrectly matched. Answer for this PYQ is D. Answer for this PYQ is D. Our next question is based on this news which featured in the Indian Express newspaper page number 10. News talks about High Court of Rajasthan asking to submit records on MLA's resignation as it terms their action as a promotion to horse trading. 
Now, the term horse trading we often hear is related to the anti-defection law of the constitution. As you know, the 52nd Amendment Act of 1985 provided for the disqualification of the members of parliament and the state legislatures on the ground of defection from one political party to another. Now, for this purpose, it made changes in four articles of the constitution and, and added a new schedule that is 10th schedule to the constitution. This act is often referred to as an anti-defection law. Later, the 91st Amendment Act of 2003 made one change in the provision of the 10th schedule as it omitted an exception provision that is disqualification on ground of defection not to apply in case of split. Now, UPSC has previously asked question based on anti-defection law as in 2014, it has asked question about which of the following schedule provides for anti-defection law. So, let us take up today's practice MCQ. Question says, with reference to anti-defection law, consider the following statements. Statement 1 says, an independent member of house becomes disqualified to remain a member of the house if he joins any political party after such election. Now, this statement is correct. Statement 2 says, a nominated member of house becomes disqualified for being a member of the house if he joins any political party after the expiry of three months from the date on which he takes his seat in the house. Now, this statement is incorrect. As a nominated member of a house becomes disqualified for being a member of the house if he joins any political party after the expiry of six months from the date on which he takes his seat in the house. This means that he may join any political party within six months of taking his seat in the house without inviting this disqualification. So, as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be A, that is 1 only. Now, answer for this PYQ is D, that is 10th schedule. Now, the last question of today's session is inspired from this news, which featured in the Indian Express newspaper, page number 6. News is about 11 sandalwood trees that were found to have allegedly been cut and stolen from the Delhi Zoo on Thursday. Now, flora and fauna have been a prominent theme in UPSC preliminary examination. As you can see here in 2014, UPSC has asked question about what kind of plants you will find naturally while traveling through Himalayas. So, let us take today's practice MCQ. In first column, you are provided with Indian vegetation type and in second column, you are provided with various tree species. You have to identify the correctly matched pairs. Now, first is tropical evergreen forest. Now, tropical evergreen forests are restricted to heavy rainfall area that is having more than 200 centimeter of rainfall with a short dry season. Areas of the Western Ghat and island groups of Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar, upper parts of Assam and Tamil Nadu coast. Some of the commercially important trees of this forest are ebony, mahogany, rosewood, rubber, etc. So here you can find that rubber plant does not belong to tropical deciduous forest. It belongs to tropical evergreen forest. So, our, so pair 3 is incorrectly matched. Now the wet temperate type of forest are found between the height of 1000 and 2000 meters in the Himalayas. Evergreen broadleaf trees such as oaks and chestnuts are predominant species in these forests. Now tropical deciduous forests are also called the monsoon forests. These forests exist mostly in the eastern part of the country. That is northeastern states along the foothills of Himalaya, Jharkhand, western Odisha, and Chhattisgarh and on the eastern slope of the western ghats. Teak is the most dominant species of these forests. Bamboo, sal, shisham, sandalwood, khair, kusum and mulberry are other commercially important species. So as you can see here, none of the pair is correctly matched as mulberry and teak belong to tropical deciduous forest. So, as you had to find the correctly matched pair and none of the above are correctly matched, so our answer would be D, that is none of the above. Answer for this PYQ is A, that is 1 and 2 only. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more such updates.